I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Tyler, it's time to unload, just back it up We kicking in that front, don't think you taxing us, you think it's sweet <laughs> This stick gon' handle the beef like a spatula, he learned it all in the street <laughs> Scream rest in peace, he died with his bachelor's luck And I'm yelling free nine, I write whenever it's free time You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification game, rightsgameclothing.com For the merchandise, you heard me, right? Mm -hmm. Got my guy with me Showtime has speed and nobody that knows bodies bah! So continuing on, um, Ultimate Madness is in full effect uh, you had some Summer Madness announcements, and now you got pretty much a whole card worth of Summer Madness battles. Uh, they announced today that uh, Aver versus Calico, a battle that we kind of knew was already happening. Yeah. Um, I they, The way they've been going back and forth. We saw this coming. You know what I'm saying? You've seen <laughs> it coming from 10 miles up the road. Yeah. B-Dot versus T-Top was announced. Um, you got Reed versus Nitty. Mm -hmm. You yeah. had Mook versus Briz. Um what else we had on there? Uh, Shine, Shine versus Chess. chess. Mm -hmm. So overall, it's a pretty good card. Without the without that super main event, mm -hmm. it and definitely takes a step back. Ultimate Madness. And then you got the Ultimate Madness battle. Um, mm -hmm. Homes of the God versus Bill Collector. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they get that John John and Don versus Ill Will on there too. Um, it, I, I mean, it only... Hmm, it all makes sense, mm. Daylight Voice. <laughs> hmm. It all makes, makes sense. Uh, Daylight is not on the card. That's a surprising guy mm. that's not on there this year. Chilla Jones. Um, it's always going to be MCs that people feel like should have been on it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, and then Geechee Gotti versus Charlie Clips was announced today. Yes. Yeah, yes. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about them Saw too, that you know coming too. <laughs> I thought when I seen the promotional, I thought it was gonna be good. I thought it was gonna be good too. In the, goods in the joint. Just because it was a little chunky kind of a brown skin dude does not mean. It. <laughs> let's start. Let's start. I was gonna start with Verb and Cal, man, but let's start with uh Charlie Clips and um and 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 Geechee Gotti, man. You got Geechee Gotti, you know um he's doing what he's doing, back to back winner, champion of the year. You got uh Charlie Clips. You know, he's got, uh, he was doing the wild and out thing. Right. And um, he takes battles every now and then. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes he takes a battle serious. Other times we know Charlie Clips, what we know him for. Right. He did his thing versus New Jersey Twerk. Right. Uh, he said that if he got Geechee Gotti, he was going to take him serious. Uh, this is a, now, last time we saw Geechee Gotti in one of these rooms was him versus Verb. Mm -hmm. I did have Verb getting that battle. Right. Uh, now he's battling against a Charlie Clips who can dance in these small rooms you know he, mm -hmm. he did it versus new jersey twerk what are we getting what, what, what are we looking at man listen i i, I kind of I, I saw this battle coming because charlie definitely had a couple names like i, I heard when geechee said he wanted a few people and charlie was one of the names remember charlie said listen if they call my name i'm i'm a, I'm, I'm coming for you oh, okay so I, I i could see that battle happening then uh, geechee is also at that point where he can battle pretty much anybody that he wants. That he wants. But if we talk a summer man, it, it gotta be up. It gotta be up legendary god tier level. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I feel as though that you know he's reached that 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 definitely reached that peak. Mm -hmm. For it to be Charlie Clips though, like we still gotta have that thought in our head. Well, we, well if we get a, a serious Charlie Clips, you know, right. uh, uh, if if we. Uh, 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 don't get that clips. Is it gonna, gonna be a good battle? Right. I'm just saying maybe Charlie is probably gonna give us one of his best battles of his life, mm. as if his career depended it was on the line. Yeah, because you know I'm not. This is no shots or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure Charlie just chilling right now. Uh huh. No battles. No, no, no battles. Work, no no, no work. nothing going on. So I'm pretty sure Charlie is going to be uh, just sitting there carefully crafting some rounds. And it's for one of the biggest killers that the URL has to offer. I honestly think that Charlie has a chance to win this. Mm. But the one thing that Charlie hasn't seen is this room with nobody in it. Mm. Think about Charlie Clips is he can beat niggas live. It is hard to beat Charlie Clips live on stage okay it's been it's it's very rare you see charlie clips get murdered mm -hmm. or die especially 
You talking about the rum nitty battle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Charlie was choking and he was freestyling at the same time, too. Right. Uh, same thing with Sharon. He was choking. He didn't care about that battle either. Things that you, when you pick those losses by Charlie, it's the ones that uh, a lot of people feel like Math beat Charlie, too. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's one of those things where Charlie, if he's serious, and live, he he would be that guy. But Geechee been in that room. He been in that. He been in that trenches. He's been everywhere. He doesn't care where he you're at. Geechee's still gonna give us that full Geechee. I'm still on the fence on this one, cause I, I I'm I'm a really big Charlie fan. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead. And, and you know Charlie 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 Clips is a hard MC to stand in front of as far as like battling. You know what I'm saying? He's a difficult opponent mm -hmm. when he's in that bag. How I know I stood in front of Charlie Clips before we were playing around, <laughs> but he's difficult and he can freestyle. I mean, I did. We did almost 100,000. That counts. You know what I'm saying? I don't battle much, but, you know, whenever we jump out there, I love something. But he, he's a good MC is what I'm saying. Yeah. When he wants to when be. When he wants to be. And Charlie Clips, Charlie Clips is the epitome of, you know, when you play basketball in high school, you got that guy. You got a team full of players, and then you got a guy that everybody knows can really play. Mm -hmm. But he don't go to class. Nope. You know what I'm saying? He he hanging out with the girls. He got a baby on the way. In yeah. The grade. <laughs> and it's like, man, if Showtime would just get his shit together, we could go to the state championship. But Showtime don't got. He's he's out. He's out. He's not playing for the team. He don't show up. He don't show up to practice. But. We when know I'm that he game. Would, I'm about to say, when you and it's like, yo, we can't put you in the game because you got to go to class, bro. And it, we, we, you wind up never playing because we know that, you know, yeah. we know the talent is there, mm. but your your commitment doesn't be there. Right now, I feel like the reason why Charlie Clips, we could get the flashes of the Charlie Clips of greatness. Mm. Well, and now they ain't running no more. There you go. Them boys got kicked off by a if you ain't heard. <laughs> I was being generous. So go ahead. <laughs> if you ain't heard. Um, so, ooh, the bills got to still get paid. Money still got to get made. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you have Demon something. Demon still got to get slayed. You know I mean? <laughs> so, so, I'm looking at it like if your bread, your bread and butter, mm -hmm. which was wilding out the tour and all that gets taken away. Your fallback is battle rap. Going back to what you now need. your your side hustle becomes your main hustle mm -hmm. again. If Charlie Clips know like I know, he better do good versus Geechee Gotti because getting smoked by Geechee Gotti is not going to bode well. He'll still be able to get battles, get names, and things like that. But Charlie Clips has to be a vintage. I know he watches this content. Um, Charlie, if you know like I know, you might want to jump in that bag. Yeah. Uh, you might want to actually write some rounds. Don't show up to Geechee Gotti freestyling and all of that other stuff because if you think Av was if you think Av was any competition, if you think Twerk was any competition, Geechee Gotti is in the same line or above a lot of the MCs that you battle, and he's definitely going to bring it to you. I know, you know, going into it from an offset. Mm. I probably have to go get you guys two one. I can understand that, and I can agree with that logic. Uh, another thing is too, I haven't seen anybody that Gigi Gotti has battled mm -hmm. that decided to play with him. Right? No, he's gonna. He's you know like what I'm saying like you know it's you know look John Wick. All right, it's the John. I don't want to say Gigi Gotti is John Wick, but remember they had to send the best to get him, you know what I'm saying? And they failed, they gave it everything that they had. You know what I'm saying? Like even the big sword fight scene in the second one, like mm -hmm. crazy, the best swordsman in 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 all of the assassins. Mm -hmm. He was sitting there looking like a, 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 he was looking like a shish kebab, you know what I mean? But that's what Geechee Gotti does. You figure when, but when Geechee Gotti or if Geechee Gotti loses, it's not like, no, Geechee Gotti got smoked. It, it, he no, he didn't. It was like, if I had to pick, like both of y'all, both of y'all are really messed up. So it goes to the decision. Like it, it's just yeah, like never, that. He's never been smoked. You know never been he's smoked. Never been smoked. Whether you have him winning the battle or losing the battle, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, and his fan base is very strong. Right. So if the battle's even close, his fan base is gonna have him winning. Uh, yep. he, he rarely loses, and if he loses, it ain't by much. It's never a loss to where. I'm like this, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't like, think Geechee Gotti has got one. Nah, I don't think he has, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And he treats every battle like it's his like it's his job, yeah. you know? And but he's, you gotta respect He's a natural born killer. Right, and you gotta respect his the way he works, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like 
He's gonna treat every battle the way it's supposed to be treated. Mm. Uh, Charlie Clips has freestyle ability. Charlie Clips has rebuttal ability. Too many bags. Charlie Clips has, uh, you know, a direct bag, personal bag. Mm -hmm. You know, he can definitely say uh, when it weaves, your bundles get banged, and people are gonna love it. Even mm -hmm. though mad niggas have used extensions and all this other stuff against Gichigati before. Charlie Clips will be able to use it in a way that's so funny and that you'll be like, yo, I never even thought that another person would come with it like mm -hmm. that. Um, dope battle overall, scale of 1 to 10, I'll give that one an 8 from the offset. Like, I like it. Yeah. Um, the Goods battle was one that a lot of people were looking for. Still want to see that. Still want to see. Yeah. But the way Goods work, Goods don't work on nobody's Jeez, time but his. Yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Like, Goods marched to the beat of his own drum. Mm -hmm. When Goods versus Tay Rock was announced, it was announced maybe a month or so before. Months. When You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when Goods battles, his battles gets announced in advance. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I know that even if they try to book him for Summer Madness, he, Goods is a person that in that room is not going to do nothing for him. Yeah. Like him battling in, he knows his limits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether he's whether you advertise yeah, him he's or a crowd, not. He's a crowd guy. He's, he's not yeah, going to battle in guy. that room because he knows that no crowd whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Nah, good style is not set up. It's not. It's not set up to do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he's. He, you got to know your strengths, mm -hmm. and to know your strength is to know that if you go into a room where you're not getting any reaction, you know what I'm uh, saying? It's the daylights will shine in those rooms. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? The daylights can put words together, line for line for line for line for line for line. If you're good, and you battle off of. Perform, performing. It ain't quiet, 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 but it's quiet, quiet. <laughs> so uh, I don't, I, I didn't have him. Um, I have him doing, doing good against. Uh, would have, I, I would have loved to see the goods battle, mm -hmm. but um, I see where that's gonna. That'll probably happen yeah. on the anniversary card. Hopefully to get back in the buildings. Um, ain't this, ain't this like year eleven though? Like, like. But they counted as ten. But um, so. <laughs> Averb versus Calico was announced on the card too. Mm -hmm. uh, we've heard about it for a long time. Uh, rap wise, I got Averb. Come on. I man. mean, like, cause the thing is, I gotta think. When is the last time I saw Calico really, really get crazy? Cause when it's like Pat, he don't say Jack. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. No. No. No, he got busy versus ill will. I'm a I'm a rap like Bill Collector cause you know I don't like him. <laughs> cause I know you don't like him. That was on. Um mm -hmm. I seen him I seen him get busy in a couple battles. Uh I think Ill Will was the last one. He did good in the two on two before it got ended the um one with murder. <laughs> Or the land dark life. He did good in that one too. Yeah. But this is verb. Verb is consistent. Verb is verb is calculated. Uh, verb has got angles. Verb has got you know so many different things he can use. Different bags he can jump in. Him and Calico just had that falling out about Calico supporting Avo during that situation. Mm -hmm. So it's just mad shit that Verb is going to be able to 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 pinpoint and use as angles. But I like what Calico does. But if you're asking me from the outside looking in, I got Verb two one. I don't have a personal preference uh, for Calico's bars. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 you know, because when it's real, it don't have to rhyme. Um, I'm, I'm totally against that. It, it has to rhyme right. I, with the rhyming part. Right. Um, and uh, but but you know when you know uh, whether it is the difference between metaphors and real rap, and this yeah. is we understand that. But on a big stage, you know the the real rap would work. But you in that room, Cal. Like, Cal, this is a small... There is nobody in there. So, the it might be to the point where the realest nigga in that room is you. Mm. So, I kind of need you to feel like you got to... Like, you kind of got to dumb the realness down and give us some, some entendres. Because right, that right. room is going to be different. Like... But we know what Verb is gonna do. We know that Verb is gonna do that. Like maybe Calico can. The way that I could flip it, if the, I feel like the only way, if I were to battle a Verb, mm -hmm. like I would have to be funny. Like I gotta try to, like, if not make him laugh, but make everybody around him laugh at the situation or not him. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like not laugh at, uh, not give him a fake angle, but just. Just tell me, like, are you always the congregator with the congregator? So we rhyme with ways with the rhyme with It's like, see, I can do that shit too, Verb. It's stuff like that where you you gotta take Verb out of his element. But when he sees, when he got them blinders on, 
and he sees you as a threat and right now he sees you as a threat because he has a very valid reason for him to be upset and and you were the one that was defending the person that was in that video that said something now granted the words were you know mixed up but oh, needless, God, oh, you know what i'm saying yeah. needless to say Verb is about to come out here and try to smoke you. Right. And it's for the Midwest. It's a body. It's a, it, it's something that Verb has no problem doing. He didn't want to battle niggas from his way, but he, you see what he did to his own brother. Mm -hmm. So imagine what he does to a nigga that he don't like. Right. Like, I got Verb 212, but I'm... I, gentleman's 30? It, mm -hmm. I'm just calling it. I mean, it, unless Verb throws her way around, and Verb is not going to throw her way around. I mean, unless... I don't know. Cause I, I I don't know whether he was trolling for JC like he was saying hey man I don't want to battle Calico mm -hmm. I want to battle you Verb I I know Verb ain't the type of person to throw away money like this right so you get what I'm saying like that's the only way I feel a little skeptical is if he has no focus right. like if Verb rapped against like if he didn't even rap the Calico and just did three rounds for JC mm -hmm. yeah Calico is gonna win that battle you know what I'm saying yeah. I mean I like uh I like the fact that uh. Verb is uh, taking Calico and it's going to happen on this card. I mean, I think both are dope MCs. Both yeah. are very talented. But when the, when, the rubber meets, when the rubber meets the road, mm -hmm. you know, I got to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I got I got to be honest. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, it, he he going to need... He gonna, Calico going to need a performance that we ain't seen. Verb has had good performances. Calico will need a performance that we haven't seen in a while since a uh, while, while, while. Yeah. Last real, real big superstar performance was him versus Math. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's had other battles where he's had flashes and he's done good and he's done shit. But the last superstar performance with Calico mm -hmm. was probably years ago. It's no, you know it's, it's, and I'm not, and I'm not hating on Cal, but right now the. The Calico with the buffs and 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 uh, I spent that money on that ten of I don't, I don't like that calico. I, I, that's not the calico that I remember. That's not the, that's not that hungry calico. You know what I'm right. saying? The low cut cow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The white t-shirt cow. That cow was dangerous. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, the, when he, he back spread, hit back head. If you don't die, you better lay, lay on the act. Dead. Like, Come on, man. Like that, that, that calico. That calico. Like. That was that nigga. This right here is not. We, you know how battle rap feel about those industry guys. So I want you to feel like you're you gotta come back down to earth for us, mm -hmm. cause you see how we treat and surf. Oh, you get smoke, you get smoke. Don't matter who you are. <laughs> ain't no, ain't, listen. So come on back down to earth, cow, and make this a good war between you and Verb. Otherwise, I got Verb smoking you. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no passes in this sport. No. Like if you do your thing. You get love. Right. If you don't do your thing, you get you get what you get. You know right. What I'm saying? Like there's no passes in here. Mm -hmm. Um that's the one that's the one thing about battle rap. And about you like you gotta have uh what they say, you gotta have thick skin and you gotta be able to dish it as well as you can receive it. You know what yep. I'm saying? It's like mm -hmm. we don't we don't pull no punches because no. you can't have you can't straddle the fence, you know no. what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. You gotta keep it a thousand all the way across when it comes to this shit because it's like yo if you saying that you felt like somebody won and they didn't win you're gonna start looking crazy out here speaking of so, which <laughs> speaking of which what which we speaking of which because that ultimate madness man <laughs> oh okay uh so yeah let's get to the ultimate madness battles real quick uh i'll i'll just i already just dropped run, recaps run and all of that. already did a shotgun shook versus young cannon what's up young cannon was smoking all right, mm -hmm. my young Cannon was fire, and I had a couple jokes. They had me dying, but yeah, Cannon had to. <gasps> and your mama did it. And he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was feeling all of that. I wanted to get him some, you know, asthma, a butyrol, or something. But at the same time, Cannon was killing it. Right. Suge ain't broke a sweat. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of Suge for that, man. Like you remember all that sweating and the heavy breathing? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, got all that cardio up. You, you still didn't win. If anything, uh, Suge got the first round. And Suge, I'm hearing them bars, bro. I I, I hear them. Like Suge is is he's getting there. Like his pen is is getting there. But it is like I do believe this. It's a it, he's getting into another prime of Suge. But Cannon was just a little bit too much. I feel as though that Cannon edged almost every round. But if anything, that first round I caught a lot. From uh, Shug, so Shug two one, uh, Shug Cannon two one. Okay, Saga versus Franchise. Man, um, 
Okay, I'm gonna put it to you like this. First round kind of was debatable. All right, I saw it was happening. You know what I'm saying? Franchise was doing what he normally does <laughs> swiftly, but I don't know. Saga did the same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but when Saga did it, it just sounded a little bit better. I, it, it's always funny when I see somebody do the Shang Tsung. It's like, listen, man, I can do it too. But and you like it when somebody does it a little bit better than that person. Mm -hmm. Cause me being an artist, I'm flattered if somebody does a mock. Like if somebody like imitates me, I've, I laugh at that all the time because imitation is a form of flattery. But when Saga did it, the franchise it was great. But nigga, and I mean nigga, we saw Sensei Saga, mm -hmm. but Sensei Zen Saga, we won't even say the Zen or the Then Saga. Mm -hmm. Man, he brought those bars down very thin, Saga. He was the layers was layer length Saka. You see what I'm doing? I'm layering in those layers in, and I was laying in for Saga. That Zen Saga, you was at peace, and peace is what. Anyway, what I'm saying is the way he was doing that, I like that. You should probably only use that as a special move for certain people. Do I feel like franchise deserved it? No, but we needed that. That was a good. That was hey. Matter of fact, he'll get this reference. That's exactly what you just did. I appreciate that. Saga 2-1. Okay. Uh, channel that energy. That was definitely dope. Mm -hmm. uh, next, Danny Myers versus Holmes, Holmes Lee. As <laughs> Holmes Lee, Holmes as Lee. Goods was <laughs> saying. Holmes Lee, the God. Holmes Lee, the God. What's up, man? Yo, Holmes Lee. Holmes Lee, like, 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 I'm not even gonna bullshit you, alright? I'm not even gonna bullshit you. He was right. Like, y'all, every, alright. The fans mm -hmm. who were watching the battle felt as though that it was debatable, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like 50-50 on, that's what it said, but I was paying attention to the numbers. And, 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 and Danny Myers won the popular fan vote, Okay. right? Now, the fan vote only comes into play if, it's if, tied up. if it, the judges went tied up. I just have a question. If the fans got it debatable, how is it that the judges had it unanimous? Um, when you have an underdog, Danny was one of the favorites to win the whole thing. Uh huh. I I'm think it's a, it's a it's a it's three things. Mm -hmm. It's the way Holmesy went about his angles and things like that. Number two, mm -hmm. the fact that he was the underdog, mm -hmm. and number three, a lot of people nobody has said this yet, but I'm going to be the first to say it. He went second. Him going second and having the last impression after every round mm -hmm. in a close close. Because we're only creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. We see things as they happen. Yes. So Danny could say the craziest shit in the world. As long as Holmesy dumbs out, says some crazy shit, and he's the second one to go, that's shit. all you're going to remember. Right. And I don't want to be one. I know there's going to be a lot of people that feel like they're going to jump in the comments and say that Danny won, Danny won, Danny won, Danny got robbed, Danny got robbed. I picked Danny and I'm out the tournament. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Holmesy won. Yeah. So here's, that's how, you know, and I, I, I can do this. Mm. I've been doing, we've been doing this so long. I've been doing this so long mm. that I could pick somebody. If they don't win, I can tell you why they lost. Right. I don't get so wrapped up in my pick mm. that it clouds my judgment right. to take something away from somebody who did something. Mm -hmm. Holmesy deserves everything that he gets. He deserves to be on Summer Madness. Put some respect on his name and, you know, give him his love, give him his props because there's no saying he can't win this whole fucking thing. Holmesy mm -hmm. could win the whole thing. Um, how did you feel about the battle? Who you felt won? I about like... That? how you put it you said we've been in this game a long time and mm -hmm. we can see how that other person won mm -hmm. and with the clouded judgment of the pick i could see where it went now with all of that still being said i kind of like the first round was the definitive round of the battle okay. i feel as though that danny edged that first round right only reason why I'm even giving it a, 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 a second watch or a second thought or anything like that is just because I felt as though Holmesy had the underdog heart. Yeah. He gave it everything he had. He picked an angle that was already done before, but it was just palatable for a lot of us to go, all right, well, we ain't heard that before. Like, we ain't never hear it like this. You know what I'm saying? Holmesy had literally carefully crafted it for Danny. The reason why I feel as though that Danny could have won, 
Like, it, it, it could have went anyway. I said it was debatable. Yeah. To me, personally, I could have edged Danny the first and the third. But if I watch it the second time around, maybe the third time around, you can kind of tell Danny had a little bit more general bars. And right. that is how I'll edge it. You know what I'm saying? I love it when it's carefully crafted for you. Holmesy couldn't spit any of that shit to anybody else. Mm -hmm. This was meant for Daniel Myers. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's like it's that type of tangibles. Now, my my pick was Danny Myers. I still feel as though that Danny got the first and the third because of the overall work that I feel like Danny had. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like he got he could switch it to the general bars. Danny also freestyled a little bit. Like right. Danny had the tangibles, and the reason why my mind might have been a little bit clouded because I'm already seeing Danny in Summer Madness. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at I'm looking at all right. Well, this is what the kind of battles I'm looking forward to seeing right. for Summer Madness. And I, why would I not expect Danny Myers? Now, mm -hmm. does that throw any hate towards Holmes the God? No, my nigga, you deserve to be here. Right. You showed the hunger. You and Nun Nun was not expected to get to this spot, and y'all did it. Y'all right. gave us everything, and for that, I applauded you. And not to mention, Holmesy, I owe you a great deal of apology. I'm going to need more than eight months to prepare for you. Right. Because I remember before this whole thing happened, he was one of the first people I was going through. I was like, man, if I had time, I could probably be the Holmesy. Like, just to throw the name right, out there. Right, and right. now this nigga is one of the finalists at Summer Madness. You can prove a lot of people wrong. You have messed up a lot of brackets. You have cost people a lot of fucking money. Right. So you better win this shit. Problem is, you going up against the next opponent. Mm. I mean, which is in that next battle. So, Bill Collector versus Nun Nun. Bill Collector edged every single round. I feel as though that uh, with Bill Collector, he... Now, once again, in that same light, I had the same clouded judgment for mm -hmm. Bill Collector. Right. Because I'm looking at all of the tangibles that I want to see for Summer Madness. I felt as though that Danny Myers and Bill Collector for on Summer Madness both deserved to be there. Now, right. they had to go through this tournament. They both had to they had to fight for it. Mm -hmm. You kind of knew that it was about to be given to them because they were the top tiers. Right. Shout out to Holmesy the guy for fucking all of that up. Get right? him out of there. Get him out of there. Like, mm -hmm. no, whatever you pick, that was that's fine. But guess what? I'm here. Mm -hmm. But Bill has shown us why we've been sleeping. Like, he's literally shown us why we've been sleeping on him. Because once Bill got serious, now we're seriously looking at Bill. Mm -hmm. We expected, like, we were sitting right here last year saying, listen, y'all might want to pay attention to Bill. Bill ain't playing. Right. Bill is about to go off on y'all. And he literally did that. We from Literally, if you took a flashback, Bill Collector was battling niggas in a bar that was like with maybe 45 people in it. Talk about super duper scope. And now he is on Summer Madness. Deserves to be there too. Absolutely. I feel like Bill edged every single round. You already had your piece on the thumb. Uh, yeah. Felt like he edged every single round. He was clearly better. Uh, none of punches, <laughs> but none of punches better than Bill, but Bill does everything else better than none. Right. Better cadence. Better performance, mm -hmm. better projection, yeah, better swag, highs and lows, swag. better swag, uh, better multi, better, better everything. It was just everything was better, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, yes, Bill. Yes, none of had some punches. He had some Bill flips, but the Bill flips was, you know, they were staggering. Right. It wasn't. It wasn't nothing too crazy. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think none of could win this battle going into it. I didn't think he was gonna win it, and he didn't win it. Um, but none of. Uh, like Holmesy, none none should have made a name for himself after this tournament. Absolutely. He should be able to get bigger battles. Yes. He should be asking for bigger battles. More he plates. should be getting more plays. Mm -hmm. None none was one battle away from Summer Madness. He should feel nothing. Coming into the tournament, he's supposed to lose in the first round. Yes. So he go, was as far to get as he did, <laughs> as far as he did, one bat, three rounds from the top two. Mm. Man, none none's not through, yeah. and we got you. Mm. But uh. What, what you think, man? You got what? We, what else we putting on that? Oh man, uh, I feel like um, I, I feel like this 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 uh this battle between Bill and Holmesy, mm -hmm. it's not it's not uh the only reason why it's a damper for mm -hmm. me. The reason why it's really a big damper, and I'm not saying I wanted I wanted either both of the underdogs to be at Summer Madness mm -hmm. because once Holmesy won, I didn't want Bill to win mm -hmm. because they're loud boys. It's gonna be a loud battle. It's gonna be a loud battle. It's gonna be brother on brother, friend on friend, not really that personal, hey bro, we're happy to be here type battle. Right. 
I just don't feel like I'm saying like I I I need y'all to not like each other. I need y'all to I don't know call each other's woman in the DMs or something. Get get personal or something. I need to build something between the two of y'all because that that's like me and you battling, bro. Like I would yeah. never like you know I'm saying like it's it's, it's going to be very hard to not to mention I'm not about to lose my respect for you as my brother mm -hmm. for them. Yeah, but. We not them and they not us. So I need I need blood splat. I need head severed. I need listen. I need everything from both of y'all because Holmesy, you wasn't supposed to be here. Bill, you you technically didn't. Bill, you didn't even belong in this whole tournament. Like when your name was announced, they was like, oh, me, well, all right, well, I got Bill with it. Now you're here and you're battling against your brother. Before this whole tournament. It was supposed to be Loso versus Saga. The irony. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. Apparently some Christians were supposed to battle each other in Summer Man. As now the devil's making his way in and the loud boys is about to smoke shit. Ooh. Ooh. Let it marinate. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, happy for the loud boys. Uh, Dre Dennis, salute to you. Gates of the Garden building your league from the ground up. Now you got... Your boy Holmesy and Bill Collector both some on madness. some madness. Mm. Um, could a redemption, could a comeback story be painted any better for these guys' careers? You have Bill going through so much in his career, his ups, his downs. He had that fire bar. He said, uh, You know how fucking depressed I am right now? No, nah, that wasn't Don't that, show was, that was good, but he said something like, uh, Through all my life, I've been through a bunch of bullshit. You see them them stripes that Bill caught, right? I was like, yo. He said, yo, he was wilding on them. Yo, yeah. he said, I beat, I beat Cannon, beat Mike, and y'all ain't giving me none for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, yo, he was Sad. wild. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bill, man, I, I was, well, who you got with it? Uh, I need time on that. I can't, I can't, I can't. I let that marinate too. I gotta let that marinate. Let that marinate. Go. Like, let that simmer sound. But uh. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to everybody out there who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Um, you already know what to do and what it does. In the street, <laughs> scream rest in peace. He died with his bachelor's luck, and I'm yelling free now. I write whenever it's free time. I heard it's a shortage on 30s, so my nigga triple up P5.